Hello AI enthusiasts, welcome back to Skill Curve. Imagine a language model that can write code, translate languages and answer your questions in an instant. Microsoft Research proudly presents Phi2, the next generation of large language models. Alright, so here I am inside of like LM Studio, you can see right on your screens, okay? So if you like move on to their like home page and if you scroll down you can see right here that this is like the second model on their home page which is like developed by Microsoft Research. Uh, it's like approximately 3 billion parameters model. There are like two versions of it. So this is small and fast if your system is not that great so you can download this model. Otherwise I have just downloaded this one and if we just move on to my chat interface then you can simply load your model from here after downloading it. So now let's start with the testing process. All right, so first of all, I'll test it from Corning's perspective because here you can see that they claim 5.1, which was like their first model. It was like great on Python coding. So I would specifically test this thing on like Python programming language. So I can give it first prompt as write a Python program to output numbers one till 10. Let's see what it generates here. So yeah, this code actually seems fine and it's actually great. So let's try to move like a little bit intermediate in the Python coding scenario. So I would say like write a Python code that uses regular expressions to validate email addresses. This would be like really great if it actually solves this problem. So let's try it out. All right, so here is the response. It seems like really great. This is the code you can see right over here. And this is the explanation as well. So I'm really interested to test this code out, okay? So for that, I will open up the VS code, paste my code here, okay? And let's try to run this program. So all right, the code is working. Let me just try to give some wrong address. So it says like invalid email address. So that's great. Now let's try to provide it with a valid one. So let's say I say like a at the rate a.com, which could be a valid address. So yeah, that's working perfectly. It has actually created like a valid regular expression to validate the email address. So that's really cool. And I will definitely give it a pass in coding scenarios. Now let's try to see it from like problem solving perspective. So for that, I'm giving it a prompt like you are trapped in a room with a locked door and only three objects, a broken mirror, a rope, and a bucket of water. Escape the room using these objects in a clever and logical way. Explain your steps and their reasoning. So let's try to see how it performs in this problem solving perspective. All right, so here is the response. It seems like good but I don't think so it is actually up to the mark uh, because if you like see the steps, it says like use the broken mirror to reflect sunlight onto the lock mechanism of the door uh, because it says like it will warm or loosen up the lock, then you can try to turn and open the door. So then it says like if the first step fails, use the rope to tie yourself to the one side of the door frame with the handle facing away from you. This will prevent anyone from pulling you out of the room if they enter through the door. Uh, you can actually relate second step to some extent, but the third step, I don't know why it's adding that. It says like use the bucket of water to create a loud noise and attract attention from nearby people. Why would you do that? I don't understand why it's doing that. This could be done by filling the bucket with rocks or other heavy objects and dropping it on the floor. This can actually attract like nearby people. So. That's not a good approach in my opinion. Uh, while someone is investigating the noise, use the rope to climb out of the room through a window. This could be done before that, okay? So I believe that it's not that up to the marks. I could say like it's a fail in this particular scenario. Now let's try to see it from like creative writing perspective. So I could say like write a poem in style of William Wordsworth, capturing the beauty and awe of nature while incorporating a modern scientific discovery as a central theme. So let's try to submit and see how it performs in this particular scenario. All right, so here's the poem. 
I believe that it has done like a pretty decent job in this scenario. So this poem seems like a great one. So I would definitely give it a pass in this scenario as well. So all right, so now let's try to see it from like storytelling perspective. I have given it a prompt like compose a news article summarizing a fictional scientific breakthrough balancing factual accuracy with engaging storytelling all right so after analyzing like this news article it seems like pretty great you can read here it looks like amazing and i believe that this fight too it's like really good at storytelling so i would definitely give it a pass in this scenario so the last one i want to test it from like complex mathematics perspective so i will give it a prompt like what is the value of the expression 2 plus 2 divided by 4 minus 8 into 2 minus 1. Explain how order of operation within different brackets affect the final result. So let's see how it performs in this particular scenario. All right. I actually love this response. This is like structured in an awesome way. First of all, it starts with a greeting. Then it says that it can be calculated by the following rules of arithmetic and order of operations. Okay using these rules so this is how it's simplifying first it's solving like the brackets okay you can see right over here then it's multiplying you can see right over here and then the final result is seven then it explains like how the order of operations within different brackets affects the final result so this is actually a great response and i would definitely love to give it a pass in this particular scenario as well. so all right so if we like summarize this Phi 2 model by Microsoft Research, it's basically a great one. It's a great small large language model, like only 3 billion parameters, and it's like really great and awesome. I love like how it performs in like coding. It's not that good in like problem solving, but it's good in creative writing, storytelling, and like complex mathematics so this is actually the future i want future models to be lightweight so that they can be tested locally basically the size of model actually haunts me to test them on like my local machine whenever i am like seeing 130 billion model and testing it locally when it doesn't perform that great it's basically a mere frustration but this model i believe is the future in the large language model space all right so that marks the end of our this video stay tuned for further updates and discover how phi 2 can reshape your world thank you so much for watching and i shall catch you up in some other one till then have a good day bye